I spoke with economist William Lee on that BRICS gathering. Here's what he had to say about the new countries that want to join, like Iran, Saudi Arabia, and United Arab Emirates. Well, a lot of the emerging market nations want to find some way to gather together to be able to trade efficiently and to be able to essentially let capital flow across countries to find their best uses. And right now, at a time when the debt ceiling has caused people to question the value of holding U.S. Treasuries as a store of wealth, people are searching for other currencies and other means by which they can do transactions and they can hold their money and, and preserve the value of their wealth without fear every two years that it will not be paid. So speaking of money, uh, as I mentioned earlier, member states are also exploring a potential new shared currency from the bloc's new development bank. Uh, how plausible is this and what will it mean for countries like Russia, which are under severe sanctions from the Western world? That's a great question. In fact, right now, the, the question is, is there a real alternative to the dollar? The dollar dominates in almost all transactions, especially exports from emerging markets that are heavily uh, denominated in, in commodity dollars, that is oil dollars, copper, minerals, and so on. Uh, and, and right now, China actually has made quite a bit of inroads in trying to extend bilateral trade agreements where they are able to pay for imports and exports in renminbi, in the Chinese currency. Uh, Brazil and Argentina have agreed to do that. Uh, for Russia, uh, that are sanctioned, they also try, are trying to escape the, the, the strong stranglehold of having to do uh, transactions in U.S. dollars, and they are one of the first to try to enter into agreements with, say, China for these alternative currencies. Bill, do you see this BRICS alliance as an economic one? or a political one, and is it perhaps a little bit of both? Well, it's of course a little bit of both, but, uh, but that's a great observation that um, it seems like economics has driven a lot of politics in the past, but right now, the politics of emerging market countries wanting to exert their own independence, trying to create their own little currency areas with which they can do their transactions among themselves has, has really sprung to the forefront. So the politics of emerging market countries wanting to have their own recognition and their own currency areas has come to the forefront now. How do you think a BRICS gathering of foreign ministers and also later this year of the leaders of those countries gathering to meet, how is this all viewed uh, in the Western world? I think in the United States, most uh, government officials and investors recognize that many emerging market countries have emerged from that emerging market status into something that we would call middle class countries. Brazil is a great example of wanting to uh, have high expenditures because their, their middle class has really grown in, in size and they are able to make their own decisions and try to use their own currencies uh, in, in, in doing these deals. I think uh, Western countries are going to have to realize that the large economies, the G7, and, uh, can no longer dominate the, the international economic scene. All right, we'll leave it there. William Lee, thank you very much.